Good evening. My name is Cordero Johnson, and I would like to begin my presentation with an overview of Web 2.0 tools for interaction and collaboration, and then I will branch off to my tool of choice. Okay, so Web 2.0 tools. The first thing we should ask is what are Web 2.0 tools? And so Web 2.0 tools can very broadly be defined as end user applications that require dynamic interaction, social networking, or user interfacing between people and information. They almost always have accompanying websites and associated apps for smart devices. And in the Web 2.0 environment, users decide how they want to use, interact with, and create this information that they're using or working with. Um, in addition, users have the ability to generate and kind of manipulate the content from multiple locations in a Web 2.0 environment. They can add images, videos, or links to other media content. Students also have unlimited opportunities to individualize the content they embed in their products, and the ease of use of these tools encourages student creativity. Unlike traditional pen and paper type responses, Students are not limited by their own artistic abilities, page length, or word count limits. And students will often go beyond the basic expectations of an assignment because these tools facilitate students' creative processes. Um, it is important for teachers to also note that the magic is not in the tool itself. Teachers must first consider their objectives for the lesson as well as the purpose of the student response project. Okay. The right tool can help students synthesize their learning, engage more deeply with the content of a lesson, and of course, interact with other learners in more meaningful ways than traditional response projects or assignments. Now, there are several benefits or many benefits that are attached to Web 2.0 tools, and one of the benefits of Web 2.0 tools is their ease of use. Okay. Most students find these tools to be intuitive and quite user-friendly. And because of this, we are seeing that there is little time wasted in learning how to use these types of programs or tools. And the tools facilitate interactive learning and innovative responses to assignments and assessments. Students, they tend to see their ideas take shape quickly and they are rewarded with professional looking results. It is also easy to edit the projects as they are being developed, so students tend to take more risk per se during the creative process. And this, these, these ease of use combined with the quality of the finished product increases students' self-efficacy and it of course motivates students to engage more earnestly and actively in the content of their responses. Web 2.0 tools also can facilitate authentic interactions with content and with other learners. These tools offer students opportunities to solve real-world problems and also to collaborate in meaningful ways with peers in face-to-face -face or online classrooms. Students have the freedom to customize their responses using multimedia or multiple modalities. And unlike a term paper or more traditional response projects, no two projects look exactly alike. Okay? Students' individual interpretations and representations of their conceptual understandings can easily be shared with others, thus increasing the learning opportunities for all. So everyone benefits. Um, choosing and using a tool with students, it is important that the right Web 2.0 tool for the task is the one that matches the objectives of the lesson. The tool should not just be an add-on, but rather it should be a natural extension of the lesson that reinforces the skills or concepts being taught. What do you want students to learn or to be able to do as a result of the lesson or unit of study? And what tool will help you achieve that goal are pertinent questions that should be asked when you are deciding or choosing a Web 2.0 tool. Okay. All right. So that brings me to the tool of my choice, which is the Canva tool. And so the first slide ask the question what is Canva alright so Canva is a tool that makes it possible to design anything and publish anywhere alright what with its user-friendly drag-and-drop tool 
and thousands of customizable templates. The Canva tool has over 400 million designs from more than 10 million users across 179 countries. This is a screenshot of the interface of the Canva tool. This is what you will see when you um, log on to Canva. Okay, so the next question we should ask is which type of tool is it? All right, so Canva can be described or classified as a Web 2.0 tool. And if you know anything about Web 2.0 tools, we know that they are used for interaction and collaboration. Okay. All right, features of Canva. There are many features of the Canva tool. And some of those features are themes, textures, image cropper, speech bubble. You can add text to your photos. You can edit or format your photos, photo straightener, transparent images, design, and photo grids. You can add stickers, frames, vignette, icons. You could add a flow of blur to your photos. You have access to thousands of free templates, background images, and of course, very important, you can share your design with other users. Why is it an, an important tool to use in digital environments? Because firstly, you don't need design skills. All right, you don't have to be a pro on design. It's basically very easy to use. As long as you can maneuver a mouse or use a mouse and you can read, it's quite easy to use. All right, secondly, it's relatively well, thirdly, the possibilities of using this tool is quite endless. You can go as far as you want with the tool. You can be as creative as possible. All right. And then, of course, it fosters teamwork and it is mostly free. And so it is a very important tool to use in digital environments. All right. So which learning environment is best? Canva, of course, can be used at best in our very own classrooms. And so I would say a classroom is the best learning environment for this tool because in our classrooms, we can practice design thinking. We can design our own lesson plans. We can discover other educators' lesson plans. We can help students create learning portfolios. We can create lecture slides and presentations. We can actually build a brand for our very own classroom. We can ask students to create learning plans. We can make group projects more appealing. We can quantify our information with charts and graphs. And of course, we can create worksheets and exercises all from using this Canva tool. Okay, so how does technology influence collaboration and community learning? The Canva tool is classified as a Web 2.0 tool. Okay, and we know if we know anything, like I said earlier, about Web 2.0 tools, we know that these types of tools foster collaboration and interaction. All right. This tool allows users to share their designs with each other. And by way of the Create a Team option that is on Canva, teachers, students, and members of the community can be added to the team and they can actually collaborate on ideas. Is it free to use in the Caribbean? Of course, the core features of Canva are 100% free, all right? And the free version of Canva that we have access to includes a full access to the tool, 100 plus design types, social media post presentations, letters, etc., and access to a massive library of graphics. And so Canva is an all-in-one visual creation tool and one thing I have came to realize with Canva is that the templates that are not free, they are very, very much affordable. And so affordability is one of the greatest strengths of this tool. All right, Caribbean concerns. All right, there may be several concerns that may be presented from members in the Caribbean. Firstly, access to devices. We know that many of our homes and our environments or communities where our students come from they do not have access to the devices that they would need to access Canva and so that will firstly be a big concern for them. Um, I know in the Bahamas the Ministry of Education they provided 
thousands of devices to many of our students just so in an, af in an effort for them to access online the online learning platforms and so with that it would be much easier for them to also access Canva once we enforce or are using Canva in our classrooms and the next main thing is access to internet now because Canva is solely based on the internet this is a very important concern we know that many of our students will not have access to an internet connection and I can also say that in the Bahamas the, the Bahamas government they've they've been um, placing hotspots in various communities so that students can have access to this internet and then on one of the islands where I reside on I know that there are several community centers that offers free internet access so access to internet would not be that much of a big concern but it is still a concern to a certain extent um, design skills well you don't need any type of design skills in order to use Canva because of the many thousands of free templates. You can just drag and drop whatever's needed, your pictures, your photos, your information, and you can go from there. So you don't need any type of design skills. As long as you can use a mouse and can read, then you're good to go. Um, I doubt there would be any need for student or teacher training. It's basically everything is just basically straightforward. It's very user friendly. It's very easy to maneuver and move around and so Canva is a very easy user-friendly app. Conclusion, um, anyone who has access to the internet can use Canva. Okay, once you sign up, you can use Canva and small businesses who wish to stand out of the crowd on a budget, large companies who need their team to be more flexible and reactive while ensuring consistency across all documents, even teachers who are looking for ways to engage their students without wasting time on learning new technologies or complex theories, or those non-profit organizations and charities who want to empower their teams to create high-impact graphics and marketing materials, or just simply individuals who want to develop their own skills and use them at work or just for fun you know the canva app is the right app for you and i would definitely recommend canva based on what i have come to learn about it so far and so that brings me to the end of my presentation this is a listing of my references at this time i would like to thank you for your time and for your attention